All right, so where we left off yesterday, um, we were having some connection issues with the stream yesterday. The last probably hour uh, of the stream yesterday was just plagued by internet issues. I could not get stable enough to where uh, you would have the slideshow uh, effect happening. And I'm sure people that watch on YouTube uh, will come across that and probably not be very happy about it. But that's all right. That's what happens. Sometimes it happens. Um, my upload speed yesterday was really bad. So it was my fault yesterday. It was my fault. But we'll see how this goes. Uh, our um, our internet speed today is good. I didn't have any issues. I even ran a test before the stream today, um, which is pretty good. It's a pretty cool new feature uh, with the new dashboard. So that's pretty cool. But um, so far, so good. So we'll see what happens uh, the rest of the way. We'll definitely keep an eye when it turns 3 o'clock my time to see if the stream starts sucking or not. But anyways, um, what we were doing the last time was we were uh, going around doing these uh, these bandit camps, trying to get diagrams for our Ophir friends. So we should probably take this swallow. I think we, we just uh, had finished fighting off those uh those bandits they were about to reap our rewards when the connection issues were just god awful so we've we've got a lot of diagrams that we need to go return um and i noticed that yesterday i didn't even start the hearts of stone uh main quest or anything like that uh, all i did was just explore i i saw this all this new area that was opened up uh, market boards and a whole bunch of uh, points of interest uh, were also there too. So today we're going to make sure that, you know, we're going to turn this quest in and then we're going to go ahead and start the Hearts of Stone main quest um, because I noticed that we probably need a, lo a lot of uh, new stuff in the uh, the expansion there. Uh, whether it be in terms of crafting or new weapons, stuff like that, because I noticed a lot of the mobs yesterday were pretty tough, even though we took them down. We took down, like, this really difficult Leshen. Um, we took down a Arch Griffin. All kinds of stuff. Uh, I need to get used to the, to the combat system again as well. So, uh, just bear with me and, you know, we'll, uh, we'll figure this out together. I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff now. Letter with orders. I also no noticed in... <laughs> I'm going to probably be really slow at talking today because... I noticed in some of the videos that I was editing yesterday... I still have two videos to edit from yesterday's stream. Uh, for YouTube, by the way. Um, but... I noticed that I say, um, a lot. And that's one thing that I need to, like, stop. Stop saying that. Just need to just if I'm thinking I don't need to say um all the time I just need to just sit there in silence so I'm going now that I brought that to your attention you're probably going to focus in on that for the rest of the, the session today I'm gonna try my best to not say those words those filler words because we're better than that you know we need to look at the note that we got because I was too busy giving a monologue Oh, it's the same, uh, the same notes. Uh, just talking about the diagram. And there we go, we said, uh, again. Do, 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 do. I can't even read these. Diagram written in an unknown tongue requiring translation. Drawings show various stages of crafting trousers. Okay, cool. Oh, we don't want to read that. We should probably read some of these books, huh? Uh, that's probably what I'll do is like, at the start of a session, we'll read a book or two. Um, I don't know if I've ever read this. I need to stop saying, um. 
I don't know if I've ever read this in the during the Wild Hunt playthrough, but I guess we'll read this. The Heroes of Skellige, Modolf. Modolf, uh, progenitor of progenitor of Clan Drummond, who was granted mastery over the Isles of Undvik. Unlike his brother, displayed no extraordinary abilities. He was neither wise nor especially brave, nor did he possess any particular gift which would make him a great individual. He represented it, he represented represented he resented Hemdal for not bestowing greater talent upon him. Hemdal, however, insisted he had blessed each of his sons with equal gifts, but not all revealed themselves at once. Modolf would have to wait for the right moment for his gifts to step forward. Yet the hero was impatient and could not wait for this moment. Instead, again and again, he sought out trouble of the worst sort, hoping each time his hidden ta talent would shine. Hemdal grew angry with his son and decided to bury his gift even deeper. Modolf died after a long and unruly life filled with incredible adventures, but a life during which he never discovered his talent. His descendants decided to continue his search elsewhere. They abandoned Undvik and invaded Ard Skellig, eventually taking half of that isle for themselves. They now seek to take the other half, but whether doing so would finally reveal their line's unique gift, no one knows. Interesting. Yeah, I think every time we start a session, we're going to read a book that we haven't read yet. Maybe a book or two. Depends on, on how long they are. The Secret Life of Count Romley. I know there was a thing there, but I didn't read it, so don't blame me for that. Return the diagrams to Ophiri. Yeah, I just thought it was funny yesterday that all we did was just explore, pretty much. Uh, when, honestly, I sh what the, the smart thing would have been to do was to start Hearts of Stone, but I just didn't do that because I was like, oh, I want to check these out. But it's probably best that we get into some of that content so we can get maybe new armor, some new weapons, maybe new abilities or something. Um... Stop saying um, dude. Come on. It's a habit. I need to break it. But we need to get those things, so maybe some of these points of interest will be easier. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, we do need to go... We need to go on this road here and... Maybe go over here. I'm going to put a marker there. Should probably also meditate for a bit. At least like a couple hours. We'll meditate and see if uh I wanna make sure I replenish my uh my swallow. We get on Roche here. So we are going to travel to... Whoops. Is this the right way? I don't think we took a... Yeah, no, we gotta turn around. Not so fast, Roach. We're gonna ride back this way. Oh, that was a little bit of lag right there. We dropped down to 31 FPS and then dropped, or went back up to 60. I'm guessing it had a load. The Garen Estate. I hope there's a god dang marker here. No marker? We're definitely going to explore all of these places for sure. But we're right it, right now we need to focus on the uh the main story for Hearts of Stone. We need to actually like start that. Uh, let's go ahead and ride down all the way over here. We'll just go straight and then there there might be a road sign here, uh but I don't want to have to go in farther. 
Ah, there we go. Good. Awesome. Cool. I want to save a lot of this stuff for after we start some of the Hearts of Stone quests. Um, but let's go take this, these diagrams back, see what this guy can do, and then we'll um, make our way start the Hearts of Stone. Turn the diagrams. Now, what does this quest say? Does it say anything different? Um, who would have who would have expected Geralt to come across a camp of Ophiris somewhere on the Red Redanian frontier? Yet life can be surprising. Travelers from a land far across the sea had indeed chosen to pitch their tents in just such a place. The new arrivals had come to gain knowledge and give gifts. But, since life can be unpleasantly surprising as well, they were attacked and robbed by locals. When Geralt heard about this, he felt sorry for the foreigners' loss and decided to help them retrieve their belongings, which we did. Malicious types might claim he only did so to get the crafting diagrams he'd been promised as a reward, but I am not among their number and do not believe that for one instant. But in all honesty, I mean, yeah, that's why we did it. You know, that's why we did it. Mr. Merchant. Merchant with no name. Nice to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Banner diagrams. Cheers, everyone. Butterbeer cup. Managed to recover all your diagrams. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men. For I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land the most barbarous. Don't mention it, really. As agreed. I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return tomorrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. So wait for tomorrow, a day. Then. Eh, we'll come back after a while. I would like to sell it stuff to, to you. see you again. Quite the pleasure. Because I know I have a lot of stuff to what sell. What you bring from although, Mind if I have a look? You're not going to be able to break stuff down for me, that's for sure. Let's see, we've got, we're gonna keep the Mastercrafted Armor. I probably should put that in a stash, probably. This is the Moon Armor, which really isn't that bad, to be honest. But I will sell this. How much does this sell for? Does it, does it tell me? It weighs eight pounds is what it says. 255, that's how much it sells for? I guess so. Order of the Flaming Rose might be kind of cool to keep. Well, let's get rid of some of that weight. Yeah, we've got a lot of swords, too. This guy doesn't have near enough money for all this stuff. Uh, sure, yeah, sell that. That's, here we go. I know we have a lot of weight in uh, the miscellaneous items, the crafting. Probably have like a lot of hide that needs to be broken down and such. Uh, but yeah. That's fine. At least I can get Take rid of some of now. that stuff. Go. And in the world glory. It's never be praise, yes sir, I know. Was there anything else to talk with you about? Praise be the world and it's no. the creation. Okay. So uh, it says wait a day, but I don't think we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and swap it over to Actual main story. Dude, dude. It's supposed to be level 38. Jeez, okay. Yep, we will definitely be doing all this stuff. I wanna, I'm just going to say, I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything. Yes, I'm doing everything. Okay, main quest. Arts of Stone. Go see Olgerd von Everick. You residing in the Garan state. Oh, we went by there. I was looking for someone to kill a monster lurking in the Oxenfurt sewers. Oh my god, that sounds like Zima sewers or whatever sewers you were in in the first game. Spent a lot of time in the sewers. Looks like a job for me. Awesome. Yeah, let's do this one. Main quest. I think we actually we actually rode by that estate. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. So we'll just take the, uh, the thing over there. 
We're gonna let this play out and see just how, like, how much we get into it to where maybe there's another area that opens up or maybe it takes place, like, in this area maybe. Because I might need to drop off some of my some of my gear in the stash before we do some of this stuff. But anyways, let's read about the Garen Estate. Garen, Garen, I'm sure I'll pronounce it. Some 200, 240 years ago, a certain Josen Garen arrived in these lands. A Ha'aki? Maybe that's how you say that? I don't know. A Ha'aki? A ha ha an Aki, Traveler, Brighter, Brawler, and Souse. Garen looked around and saw the local metals in bloom, cool shadows beneath, charming glades, and glorious sunbathed fields. Ah. All this inspired him to settle down here for good. His new neighbors treated the arrival with suspicion. Yet, they changed their minds and warmed to him once he turned a gracious host. He turned a gracious host who would fill their cups once again once and again with the exquisite wines he had brought with them from his homeland. Sounds cool. It's talking about wine, and I instantly think blood and wine, but it's not. It's not blood and wine. It said Hearts of Stone. God dang it. This Hearts of Stone is the one we're doing. Evil soft first touches. Alright. Let's go ahead and go over check this out. The Garen Estate. What kind of stuff we got over here? Verbena. Myrtle. Who's this guy? Wild one. Hey, mate, why are you just swinging out the air? Keep it down. You burst the vessel. All right, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't mean I was speaking so loud. Wild one. You all right? Witcher three, the you wild you one. You all right, okay? <laughs> oh, I mate. My game crash. Almost not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old geared von Everick. Old geared ah, von Everick. That'd be inside. This is a great time to come when it's like raining and dark. What's the tone here? The ace of spades. <laughs> hey, hit the frog. Yeah. Mm. Yo, what up, girl? I like your tats. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. I'm just waiting for some big guy to come out and be like, Oi, that's me, Everick. Uh, who are you as a group? Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? Pirates? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you air. Because we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. The Redanian Free Company, the wild ones. Olgrid, where will I find him? I was told I'd find old Geard von Everek here. Old Geard. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> yeah, cough it up. So maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm old Geard. Tell me. What brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. Oh no, this is like Negan. Not likely. I'm all geared. I'm Negan. <laughs> We're Negan. We're all Negan. 
Bunch of idiots. Amusing, really. But I'm here on business. You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geert von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> He's, there's a bunch All of jokesters right, here. Witch, yeah. Bunch Just of dicks, man. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. Old Geard. Chiringi, what's up, buddy? Is your internet better today? So far, mine is. Good stuff. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Yeah, they call me Geralt of Rivia. Of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once what? you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. <laughs> Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Right. Before we come up here, can I... Well, take a look out outside here. Good. Internet's better? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Look at this guy. Oh, man, this game just looks amazing. Alright, let's go talk to this Everick guy. So right now we're doing the first main quest for... The Hearts of Stone ex uh, expansion that we didn't that I was gonna do yesterday, but I didn't because I was too busy exploring. So we better get on track today. He's got a contract for us. Sir. You've a guest. Booty. You know what types of sculptures fetch the best Aww. prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Whoa, look at this guy. He looks like, uh... I don't know. I have to see him again. Sculpture's not my field of expertise. Got a bit I like it. I prefer Gernt's work myself. Yeah, let's play in with this guy. I'm not gonna say sculptures. Uh... Let's say, you know what? Let's, uh, I prefer Gernst's work myself. Look at that. Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri School. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. Ooh. I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Guy's okay, character design is perfect. awesome. Looks really cool. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Oh, yes. Oh, no, she broke her arm. Ataman Olgeard, long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. Oh, uh, you got like... Peasants. What's going on? I like that... That, that uh... Porsche behind you. That looked like Novigrad the Hierarch Square, actually. Celebrating anything special. Is this some special occasion? Or just feel like feasting? Every occasion's special. 
Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair saber, I dub thee Tradiciana. Tradiciana. <laughs> <laughs> This okay. This guy kind of looks like David Beckham a little bit. I don't think that's what they were going for, but that—that's kind of what this guy looks like. The contract. Let's talk about it. Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers to fetch game. Hey. She went to a fair with her sister, or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know, women, each craves a prince and will wade knee-deep through shite to get him. Missy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. Boy, what we got here? Whoa! Hey! Leave her be! Yep. Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Put it down, buddy. Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The contract. So, you'll check it. Let's talk about the reward where we can... I definitely remember this, where we could negotiate to try and get a little bit more. Um, but we don't... We have a lot of coin. I don't think we really need it, but... Just one for Who knows? These DLCs first. might be pricey. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from me. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Cool. I didn't even have to negotiate. I guess maybe they don't do that anymore? Because there, were, you you would pick that, and then there would be like this little bar, and you could raise it to how much more you want to go. But I'm guessing they took that out, or maybe it just doesn't work on this particular quest. Maybe I'll take the job though. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Ooh. Okay. Old geared Van Von Everick. It's freaking cool. You know, now that I think about it, that this portrait behind him, it almost looks like a portion of Vizima from the first game. Um, I forgot what the square was called. I don't know. I'll. I kind of want to look it up though. Let's do it real quick. Zima. I want to make sure I get this right here. 